demonstration, we're going to demonstrate telluric reception just with two ground rod differential potentials and a transceiver connected to them. So if we look in closer on this transceiver here, right now we're tuned to radio station WWV, Fort Collins, Colorado, broadcasting on 10 megacycles. Now, right now we're picking up the 10 megacycle station just with the ground rods alone. And I could show that, that if I disconnect one of the terminals, you will hear the station fade out on the Now the station fades out completely, but of course if we connect the ground rod system, then the station comes in loud and clear. And we can see that on our signal strength meter here. Okay, now in this condition we have changed one factor. We are not using the uh, second ground rod differential terminal. Instead, we're using a Tesla coil, or what's commonly referred to as a tertiary coil. Now, this coil resonates in the 160 meter band, so-called, at around 1.86 megacycles. Now, this is connected to an impedance matching transformer located right here at the bottom, and this simply matches the impedance coming off the ground terminal to that of the coil therefore connected to the transceiver and making the whole connection more balanced in terms of impedance. Now I will demonstrate that right now we are receiving tellurically via this ground rod and capacitively via this Tesla coil. I will increase the volume of the transceiver and disconnect the ground terminal. Now the station subsides almost completely, barely audible. Now if I reconnect the ground system, then the station comes in loud and clear. So this just shows that we are indeed receiving tellurically out of the ground in the correct Tesla fashion. Right now we are listening to AM1260, broadcasting out of Beverly Hills, California. Now from this point to that transmitting location, it is roughly 24 miles distance for the Hertzian wave to propagate. But just like in the prior examples demonstrated, we will still be using this impedance matching transformer. And by disconnecting this ground terminal going to the ground rod, the, you will hear the station fade out completely. So I will up the volume of the transceiver again. That is station identification, but now I will disconnect the ground rod. Now the station completely fades out and it is no longer audible, just like in the previous example. Now I will reconnect the ground rod. And we get the station back again. Now, of course, this in the end is just confirming telluric transmission via the Tesla way.